everyone. The results of UPSC 2023 are out and fortunately some of the students of VKIS cleared this examination and unfortunately some of them could not. The following video uh, is a testimony to the fact that if you identify your problem when you are working on it for the civil services examination and you work upon it continuously, you will inevitably see success. Kush Motwani, All India Rank 11, uh, who was associated with VKIS, was facing one such problem and this is one of the many problems he had where we worked upon it. Like, I would not want to take credit for uh, the amount of hard work he has put in, but this video is meant to uh, bring to your notice the fact that efforts need not always culminate into success. Like, the amount of hard work that Kush has been putting in uh, did not actually translate into results the previous times because there were small errors. Like, if you identify those errors and you continuously work upon it, Ultimately, you will see success. And also, I would like to bring uh, to your notice using this opportunity that let us not undermine the efforts of all the candidates who could not clear this examination. They are in no way less than the candidates who could clear. I personally know a lot of deserving candidates who could not make the cut this time. If this video helps you understand and identify some problems in your approach towards answer writing or towards mains or any other part of uh, this examination, I'll be more than happy. Okay. So what do you understand by... Uh, okay. Uh, this one. Okay. We can start with... Fine. Uh, so public service requires not merely legal, but also morally principled action. Okay. Public service requires the public servant to place loyalty to the constitution, laws, and ethical principles among the three, what do you think? must acquire primacy while carrying out official functions. Why? <clears throat> okay. Uh, see, what is your understanding about ethics and how to approach it? How uh, is it exactly different from other subjects in your understanding? Uh, so, so far, what I have been doing is I approach it the same way as I approach GS questions. Like I break down the question into parts like here, what I did was... Now, what is its fundamental purpose of having ethics ethics paper uh -huh. I uh, yeah it is to as name you uh, this is uh, this is something that you mentioned in your video also to gauge uh, for the examiner to be able to gauge whether this person would be a good uh, decision maker or good administrator or whether he'll be able to convey uh, what he's thinking yeah. because everyone would broadly be thinking the same thing similar things in short ethical competence now, what do you mean by ethical competence? Why do you actually need ethical competence is something that I need to give you a context on. But can you justify why do you need ethical competence? Uh, uh, so that so that you're able to, like, I don't know, take decisions, so that you're able to take decisions, basically. Uh, but you can uh, as well the right uh, take decision. the decisions. What makes it right? Uh, what makes it right? So whether uh, they achieve the objectives that they were intended to achieve, uh, they don't do something, they don't end up doing something else. But don't you think there is a need for, you know, to focus on the paths that you're taking to achieve your objectives, the means versus ends debate? Uh, uh, that is also important, but in most situations, the means will be captured in the ends. I mean, that is how it normally is. Would you justify a dictatorship if it's benevolent? No, but uh, here, because in this case, like the end is to follow the constitutional principles, right? So dictatorship... Why, 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 why should I follow the constitutional principles? Why because... is that an end, first of all? Huh. So... Uh... It is an end because it is sort of related to all that uh, social contract and... Uh, then like, why do you want to amend the constitution from time to time? So that it keeps up with the changing needs and aspirations of the people. But constitutional principles are, you know, laid in stone. Like, why do you have to amend it? Mm, because uh, while the overall principles like say justice or liberty, you, can't, you came to the point. So, what is the uh, 
you know objective here is it the constitutional principles or the end objective is beyond the constitutional principles where you know you're trying to achieve something different don't you think the objective is justice not constitution constitution is a tool to achieve justice you we can put it that way but we can also say that constitution itself is the ends and you don't need to care about the means no like why do you say that so you mean to say that constitution can never be wrong no i don't mean to say that but if it is wrong then it has to be changed but like you just contradicted yourself because constitution itself is supposed to be the end what is its purpose what is the okay. purpose of a constitution I understand what the point that you are trying to convey. And what is it? That uh, the aim of ethical competence would be to ensure that the decisions that are being taken, they are just, they are upholding Why? party. Why should I crave for this justice? Uh, so that uh, so that people are people don't feel. Uh, unjust and because if people feel unjust then that will break down the uh, sort of glue that we binds society together again why does it break down uh, because if people feel unjust then they'll start doing things that they might otherwise not do like, again why? why why would they do that what is their motivation they'll want to aspire for uh, justice now do you know why we have in the preamble Justice, social, political, uh, economical, and equality of opportunity. Liberty, thought, expression, belief, faith, worship, equality of opportunity. Now you know why. Because yes. we all inherently have that, you know, uh, need to actualize our potential. And right. the resources are, you know, limited. So the purpose of constitution is to ensure the end objective of justice. Why? Because justice pursuit is the only way you can keep people peaceful. So that there is no chaos in the society. So what is the end goal of ethics? Peace and pursuit of happiness. And this is for exactly the reason why you would see in the American Declaration of Constitu uh, I mean, American Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson mentioned pursuit of happiness. Because okay. This is the fundamental craving that every human being has. And how do you ensure a sustained happiness when there is justice in the society? And to achieve that, the purpose is solved through uh, a conflict uh, resolution mechanism through constitution. Just give me one second. Does it make sense, Kush, no? Yes, sir. Now let's look or judge your answers through this lens because I'm not interested in what you are trying to say. I'm interested in why you are trying to say this. That's the difference between other papers and GSP. Just like in the thesis statement, so what? Why are you saying this? It's similar even in the ethics paper. Okay, now let's see if you were you know, justifying that or right. or not. So the question is there. Public service is a provision of uh, public utility and public goods by public servants for economic capital. Okay. This right. is fine. This is an answer that is completely fine in governance. But is it showing your ethical competence? Uh, no. So that is what I wanted to talk to you about. Like if you read like any of my answers, mm. uh, they'll I approach GS4 the same way as other GS papers. Like I'll write a normal... Now, do you see the change after this conversation? Do you see the need for change in the perspective? I see the need for change in perspective. Uh, I did that earlier also, but I don't know how to go about it. I'm still a little confused. Okay, with it. let's see. Now I'm asking you, public service is a provision of public utility, public goods by public servants for economic, social capital and human capital development. You wrote this introduction, right? Yes. What part of the question are you intending to address or introduce through this introduction? The question is, there are so many principles out there, but you are supposed to behave not just legally, but also uh, morally. 
this is the context of the question and how is this introduction going to serve any of the purpose there right uh, so i wanted to lay down the objective of public service this part but why uh, so that uh, like so that uh, from the no what is, is the question here can you identify the question like uh, let's so go the... back to that essays board where you are trying to construct yeah. a thesis statement so the question here is which among loyalty to what is supreme like there are two parts of the question like one yes. question is law versus morals yes okay and the second one is public service requires loyalty to the you know principles among the three what would which, you stick to yes so uh, i have uh, yeah so after the introduction broadly i divide into three parts i wrote how public service no i'm just asking you let's yeah. go back to the question right. right here like what is the purpose of this introduction think about it like let's take some time it's okay because right. what we need to address is not the content but the thought process involved right uh, yes so why i uh, sort of wrote this introduction is because i wanted to write the objective of public service so that later i can link that to the objective like later on i'll link saying that oh okay let's go really back to the point. question again i'll yes. i'll break it down further for you yes so you have like just answer in one word answer or fill in the blanks format i'm asking you you have to pick between constitution laws and ethical principles which do you think must acquire primacy while carrying out official functions what is so, your answer I, I one word answer constitution why because constitution captures the ethical principles like <laughs> that uh, like justice liberty those principles are not going to change and ethical mm -hmm. principles would be subjective but constitutional principles would be less subjective so that is why if while discharge of official duty i would uh make better decisions keeping in mind the constitution rather than keeping in mind obviously what's your constitution. take on lgbt uh push uh do you think transgender should have rights ha huh, yes of this def they definitely should have rights and but constitutionally and legally they are not entitled to any uh, additional benefits there is no positive discrimination towards them and they approach you for some help yes so what would be your course of action so course of action would be to uh, sort of use figure out a way to help them using any and every existing provisions and if that is not there then figure out a way to help them to sort of in how how they can advance the existing provisions so that uh, you are answering this in the case of a case study it's pragmatic enough fine i understand yes. but this is part a which talks about the principles when we are talking about the principles the theory part the difference between approach of party and part b is what is is different from what ought to be when you are arguing in part a i am more interested in what's your approach and what ought to be how the society is ought to be that is different from the pragmatic aspects that are being tested in the part b these are about principles the first principles are the normative sciences of ethics so are you saying that constitution ethics does not evolve because you're saying ethical principles are subjective but you also have to understand that you have to visualize this like a concentric circle where the outer circle is the ethics and constitutional ethics are a part of that part right right again ethics are not something you know legally enforceable but not everything Ill, uh, legal is ethical sometimes you know you have there are many cases for that but yes. as a student of ethics you are not a student of constitution here you are not so when you are trying to say this what it happens is it says that you know not my job mera kaam nahi hai ye so it, it the attitude that you are trying to display here as a student of ethics or someone who is arguing for higher principles you are picking the lowest possible one that completely defeats the purpose of you know you writing that answer right like i if i don't you think the people who are commonly uh, writing this examination they would all argue for constitution and 
the ability to you know execute what is there in the constitution no but i explicitly say that the purpose is to achieve justice it's just that i don't say it via ethical principles i say it via constitution my end goal is justice only and that i sort of point out also like but your answer was constitution why my question is why not ethics justify why you don't want to pick ethics because you say it is subjective let's discuss those subjective uh, points but okay. why not ethics why not the pursuit of ethics as uh, you always know like at one point of time if you just go by the constitutional principles uh, we had a time where constitution itself changed because of the pursuit of this uh, ethical principles only today we are having a debate on article 44 the uniform civil code which is again a matter of ethics and principles if you are competent enough to have an opinion on that only then you can debate it but if you're taking a safe haven how can you showcase your potential as a better ethical uh, you know a, a person with a higher pedestal okay i'm i understand the point that you are trying to make yeah